to another episode of Eat with Tina Chai. Today we are taste traveling at Little India Restaurant at 92 Hope Road in Kingston, Jamaica. Today I'll be meeting my friend Matilda. Her Instagram handle is Madam underscore always hungry and she's gonna make some suggestions of some Indian food that I have may or may not have tried before. So let's see what she has in store for us. Ooh, Ooh it's sweet. Yeah. And you can actually taste the mushroom chunks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's texture, yeah. Ooh, this is nice. It's sweet and it's creamy. So like last year when my parents were on the island, I would always come for the soup. <laughs> and it's still light, like a... Like you, you could have the broth, like a vegetable yeah, broth. Yeah. So it's not heavy, like a cream, very heavy cream soup. This is the pepper chicken which was recommended by the owner from the starter menu which is chicken deep fried in a spicy marinade. I like it. I like that it's lightly battered, it's not heavy and it yeah. does not feel greasy. And I and this is mine, like usually it does yeah. have I mean I, I, like I taste it. a little pepper mm -hmm. but if somebody who eats like heavy spicy mm -hmm. they might not taste mm -hmm. it. But I can taste it. Mm -hmm. But it is good, I like it. I taste I like the flavor, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like it. So is it what threw me off with the sauce? Well, let me try it with this sauce. It's, it's kind of interesting because mint is supposed to be cooling. <laughs> like yeah. you think cooling effect, oh, but, it's but spicy, it's spicy. Yeah. <laughs> I think there's green chili in there as well. Mm. That is a green chili. Yeah. Oh. I like it. This one, you feel a kick in your mouth. Yeah. But when it comes to your throat and your chest, it doesn't harm you. Oh. That's a plus point. That. Because sometimes when you eat some spicy sauces, you feel like buffing. When you eat something, you feel buff. Mm -hmm. or you feel uh, like chest burn, like normally like you have acidity yeah. problem. But this one, you never feel any kind of like buffing or chest burn or nothing. Because reason why this is a homemade sauce. We don't use any preservatives. We make it every day fresh, every alternate mm -hmm. day fresh. Like if I made yesterday, I'm not going to make today. I'm going to make it tomorrow fresh. Because it has short time period. So we don't make enough quantity and better waste. Mm -hmm. Chicken Manchurian. Oh, sorry, wet chicken Manchurian. What exactly is the sauce of the Manchurian? It has a soy sauce. That's soy sauce? Soy sauce. Okay. How Chinese food normally they make it. It's a basically a combo of Indian and Chinese. Oh, okay. Oh. Alright. That's an Indian Chinese dish. So we need to see how an true Indian is. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, so it's you pinch it between your thumb and your index finger and you push off with the other fingers. So. Oh, one hand. Yeah, so it's only one hand, and oh then you goodness. use your two fingers to dip. Oh, oh but you never pick up now. It's a sauce. <laughs> okay, let me do it again for the yeah. camera. So it's two fingers, and push off with the others. Oh. The pieces are really big, so yeah. It's okay, it's practice. But I think my, my roast is a bit small. Mm. Oh, you like it? You can taste the soy sauce in there, though, but then it's spicy. It kind of reminds me of a Chinese dish, really. But um, chicken is chicken is soft and it's marinated well. Mm. I guess if you need it. Oh. Okay. We won't put that on camera. <laughs> She's teaching us how to eat it properly. Easy. <laughs> the best way to tear the roti. The roti is already folded. Just give her one more, one more fold. No, this roti. When you oh. want to break it, give her one more fold. One more fold, like like this way, no, no. or this way. Yes. Now hold it proper and just fold it tight. I use this one finger to put it on center. Break. Oh, I see. It's already folded, so you just need to. <laughs> oh, I see. That's it. But how do you eat rice? Same. Same. Five fingers. Oh, five fingers. Five fingers. You don't, you don't put anything on your palm. It's just your fingers. Only fingers. I have to use your fingers. Oh. This is new to me. This is the lamb, lambuna masala. Marinated in butter and a blend of herbs and spices cooked with fresh ginger. This is good. Mm. It's a tomato base. 
tomato with this. Kind of spicy. So usually when we find um, the food spicy, we just put yogurt in oh. there. Yeah. Because the yogurt brings some the spice in us. I like the gravy. I like that there's not just liquid, there's like textures in there too. It's spicy, it's you can taste all the spices in there. And the lamb, I like that it's smaller pieces so it's easier to manage. Yeah. That, that's a dal. Yeah. All right. Spicy. So the dal, that will get mixed up a little bit. I wonder if I did this right. Very, very mild and creamy, even though there was a pepper. I think because of this heat, it's like um, the, the chili directly is not like spicy. spicy. Oh, okay. Because they don't put it in half or anything, they just use put it, it whole. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's the culture. 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 Culture nan. Culture nan. I mean, I like vegetarian food. Mm -hmm. so. I like lentils. And I do make curry lentils. You take a masala. Oh, you can see the ginger on top. Yeah, we need a bigger This is a rotted piece of chicken for the <laughs> amount of bread. It's very, very, very moist. It's a super, Ooh, super succulent so piece of breast, chicken Oh breast. gosh, this one is hard. You can do it, Christina. Use your ring finger as well. Alright, I think I need to start from here. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I should try this by itself first? Or do we make oh, it by itself? It's up to you. Up to you. Who oh, does a big piece of chicken? Mmm. Do you like it? The chicken is very, very, very soft. Yeah. And tender and moist. I like it. I like tender chicken. I like the gravy. It's, it is spicy though. There's a lot of complex flavors going on. This is really nice. This the culture. It's different. It's not like I feel like it could be a meal by itself too. <laughs> Is everything supposed to be like a one bite if I take this big chicken, like one bite? It doesn't have to be, there really oh. no removals. <laughs> Are you allowed to lick your fingers? Yeah, people do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like, don't do that. <laughs> no licking. Oh. The, the water work. makes it worse, so eat the yogurt. Take a bit of the yogurt. As in... Eat it by itself, yeah. or, or you could mix it with your kocha uh, and the curry, and it kind of cool down. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it's not that spicy. Mm. Does that help? It's like a cucumber, cucumber taste. So it's all four fingers. My hands are a bit dirty. Um, on five fingers. Sorry, not four. Matilda <laughs> 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 has four fingers. So you just. So you put it on your four fingers and you push it with your thumb. Oh, okay. <coughs> I think that's something I'll have to get used to. One, so just put it on your fingers and push it with your thumb. Right. So if you want to see. No, just be normal. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Like this amount? Yeah. And then push it with your thumb. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Yeah. <laughs> so chicken, I guess you just take up like this and just go. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Okay. So your four fingers are the spoon. Yeah, yeah. And then this yeah. just the thumb just pushes it in. Yeah. Okay. I'm not used to this. This is kinda of taking use sometimes to get used to. 
but I love how the biryani has different textures and flavors. It has, like, the chicken the is actually really, yeah. really good. Oh, it's so tender. I did it wrong. I didn't I scoop. <laughs> mm. I like the crispy onion on top, yeah. which gives it a nice texture. Mm -hmm. And then the rice is soft, mm -hmm. not dry either. And the chicken is really nice. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. You just put it on top of the rice. Okay. And then. So now it's under the rice? Yeah, it's under the rice. <laughs> oh. It's a fine piece of chicken. Mm -hmm. I have to eat like this, put my hands around my back. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's all four fingers. Oh. It's a British. <laughs> I realize. <laughs> I like this, it's very light, it doesn't feel like a heavy rice yeah. dish. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Want some chicken? And then. Mm. Totally changed yeah. the flavor. Like but it's it? really good, I like it. Because it, it's not, it makes it not as spicy like you yeah. said. Everything is so flavorful. That's what I love about Indian food. Like everything is so flavorful. Like it's just never bland. Yeah. So you had biryani before. So how do you guys find the biryani? I like it. Um, I like that the chicken kind of has some coating of gravy. So um, it's not as dry. But I guess some people would do it dry. I mean, I like it. Yeah. So. First time I had biryani was in Mumbai. Okay. I think from the same spice world. Oh yeah. Where did I call? Then you have fried rice. <laughs> but it's just you know, rice it, with all the stuff mixed up with. It. But it's technically not fried rice because they they cook it like in a pot. So yeah, rather fried rice is yeah. like. So this is like a one pot dish. Yeah. So that's why you have layers. That's why the chicken is at the bottom and the rice is on the top. It's almost like, you know, the chicken reminds me of like KFC barbecue, you know, when the skin is kind of soggy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like maybe fricassee chicken. And it's kind of soggy ish. I mean, I don't mind what it is. It kind of has all of that flavor yeah. of the spice on it. Yeah. So in India, is it rude to use knife and fork? It's not rude, but oh. mostly they use their hands. Mm -hmm. So if you use your knife and fork, they know that you're not cooking there. That's, <laughs> that's about it. But then when you're dishing out, you have spoons to. Yeah. I guess it would be rude like if you use your hand to. Yeah. <laughs> Especially this hand. <laughs> what if anybody would ever be like too overwhelmed with the amount of spices of Indian? Like if they're not used to like huge flavor profiles. So like um, when we moved here, my dad would have guests and stuff right from his workplace and they couldn't handle the spice at all. So my mom would have to dial it down to like zero. So usually to reduce the spice, we use tomatoes um, and cabbage to decrease the spice level. And then we use yogurt as well. Yogurt helps. From my understanding, like meat stuff has come to us from the Muslims, right? Like the goat and the beef and stuff. Um, the Hindus only eat beef for mm. religious reasons. So. Yeah. So that's why you see a lot of our um, lamb and all of that. It overlaps with the Pakistan and Persian mm. dishes as well. Interesting. Oh, because yeah. even biryani, I think that's the same story with biryani. It was bought to us from one of the prints, I think. Oh. We've come to the end of our lovely food journey to India with my friend Matilda. Her Instagram is madam underscore always hungry, which will be a link in the description down below if you want to follow her as well, which you guys should, because she posts lovely food videos as well. And, um, well, not just videos, reels and, and posts. And we're just gonna end our meal with some lovely chai, which is Indian tea. And it's usually black tea, uh, black tea leaves. Black tea leaves with like some spices like cardamom, cloves, cinnamon, cinnamon, ginger. I guess everybody does it differently. And then you have a little milk in there and yeah. sugar as well. Okay. <laughs>
Cheers. See you guys. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and um, maybe comment down below what is your favorite Indian food. And maybe I should try that next time. And don't forget to hit the notification bell button. And see you in my next video. Bye.